Craig and I rode out of Mill Hollow today, and on south-facing slopes at low elevations, there's hardly any snow and hardly any avalanche hazard. On others, the snow is very weak and faceted, and the stage is set for future avalanches. Yeah, weak, sugary, faceted snow. Not a big problem right now. Once winter turns on, it's going to be a layer to keep an eye on. Even on southeast aspects where you'd expect the snow surface to be cooked with a stout crust, there's just a thin crust and very weak facets underneath. They're not a problem right now, but they will be once we get snow and form a slab on top of them. Where there is a slab is where winds have drifted snow. There have been really strong winds in the Uintas that have transformed the landscape in the last few days. You can find some wind drifts on south facing slopes, but these were deposited on dirt or an almost non existent snowpack. Where you can get avalanches or where you have fresh wind deposits on top of this faceted snowpack. These are areas with the deeper snow on more north and east aspects where we're more likely to ride. For now, the danger is dropping because we don't have a load of new snow, but the structure is still there, and basically, we're just going to have to get used to riding slopes less than 30 degrees in steepness. <laughs>